had a weird dream last night, guys. Anyway, I'll tell you about my dream. I dreamt last night I went to, I went to visit Kent Hovind in prison. <laughs> in Swindon. Wow, Kent Hovind's in Swindon, eh? Strange dream. <laughs> Shocking when I researched this. A friend of mine told me about something called the New World Order. And um, their plans for the world, that includes you and I. But the people behind the New World Order are 300 of the world's most wealthiest families. They include the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Warburgs, the Carnegies, to mention a few. These people, they run the banking industry, they run and control the pharmaceutical industry, they also control the media, and they're also in control of the petrochemical industry. Now, if you've got that much power, and you've basically got the whole world in your hands, they've got four goals. The first of their four goals is they want the new money system. We owe the bankers, or the New World Order, or the Bilderberg Group, if you like, we owe them $400 trillion. That is the world's accumulative debt. That's everybody's mortgage, everybody's card payment, credit cards, everybody's loan if you like it all goes back to a source and that is the banking industry it's these they're banking elitists and they've got a goal their goal is to try and get everyone in hock with debt as soon as you've got debt you're then subject to the lender the bible talks about so it. we owe them 400 trillion dollars we're in debt to them now they want a new system in a new a new money system but they've got to get the old one out first. They want to try and crash it. They nearly crashed it in 2008. Anyway, so why do they want to crash the system? Well, they want to get a new uh, a money system in where, where there's going to be no cash, there's going to be no cards. All you're going to get is a silicon chip put in your right hand for buying and selling. Revelation 13 talks about that. So what's this chip going to look like? Well, it's the size of a grain of rice. It's got electronics in it. It can be tracked by satellite. All your personal details will be on there. Your passport, your, your, your driver's license, your blood type, your work history, your medical history, your criminal record. Everything about you is going to be put on this chip. So, all your payments will go in and out of this chip. You're going to buy some food or something from a supermarket, you just simply put your hand up to up to the checkout and the money, the transaction's done from your account to their account. No need for cash, no need for credit cards. Are they in are they in circulation now? Well, some people have actually got these chips in them now. Not for for uh, financial reasons just yet, just to be tracked by satellites. So apparently a friend of mine well, he told me that they're in a, a warehouse in San Francisco by the millions. I've not checked this out, and uh, I don't know whether that's true or not, but he's a good, reliable source, so I'll take his word for it. So why do they want to get rid of cash? Well, there's four or five reasons, really. Cash can be... It can be laundered. Cash can be stolen. Cash can be embezzled. If you're self-employed like me, you can cheat on your tax returns because I take cash and the government are none the wiser for it. They don't know how much I earn that way. And they can't see what people are spending their money on each individual person. They don't know what they're spending their money on because they want total control. They also want to get rid of credit cards. The reason for this is credit cards can be stolen and used, used fraudulently. It cost the banking industry last year 2007-2008, 1.1 billion in payouts, in insurance payouts. This year alone, in the six, in the first six months of this year, 2009, uh, they were they went through 1.1 billion payouts in in just half a year. So that's another reason why they want to get rid of it because that that actually hurts the bankers uh, uh, directly. Okay, so that's the first of their 
for their initial goals. The second one is they want a, a new worldwide religious system. Now, they're saying that religion actually causes war. Not true really because most religions are, uh, are actually uh, friendly. But anyway, so they want a one world religious system because they're saying it, uh, that uh, religion causes war. Now if you don't like this and you kick up against it, they can just simply turn off your chip in your hands. The next thing they're after, they're after a one world law system. Same again, if you don't like it, they just simply turn your chip off, they've got total control. Now how are they going to get this chip in your hands? Well, this is, this is my opinion really. Back in 1948, Germany, go back there, there was, a, there was a currency at the time was the German Reichmark. And you can imagine the situation, 1948 Germany, Germany was bankrupt, it was paying, paying off the war because what they caused. Inflation was absolutely horrendous. You need a whole bucket of money just to get yourself a loaf of bread. And something had to be done. The whole system was crashed and a new money system was brought in called the Deutsche Mark. Now the people who crashed the system there are the same power groups who are in control of the bank and industry now. They've done it once, they're going to do it again. How are they going to do it? Well we owe them 400 trillion dollars. They know at the moment they cannot get their money back. They're going to crash the system. They're going to take each and every person's money of course there's going to be riots, there's going to be total upheaval but they turn around and say to you and I you can have 80% of your money back as long as you're prepared to take the chip in your right hand I think a lot of people will go for that me personally I won't because the Bible says you must not take the mark it's called the mark of the beast, we must not take it because you're then selling your soul to the God of this world which is money my soul is, is in the God of heaven, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. That's where my soul is, so I won't be taking the chip. Anyway, uh, the, the fourth goal the New World Order wants to try and achieve is this, and it's the most sinister of all. They want to get the world's population down from 6.7 billion to 500 million. That's about a 93% cull of the, of the people of the earth. Now when you're in control of the petrochemical and pharmaceutical industry you're basically in control of the whole, wor whole world's health. Now we know that viruses can be made and they can be destroyed. So if they want to kill a load of people off, they can make a virus, spread it around, kill off 96% of the people. You can preserve the, the people you want to keep back, you can give them the serum to keep them alive the rest you just give them salt water and let them die and we're none the wiser are we really let's face it now you might think I'm a bit crazy right now but you need to check this out if you go to Google type in uh, Ten Commandments of the New World Order and the first of the Ten Commandments says to keep the world's population below 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Now, just outside Atlanta in Georgia, in America, there's something there called the Georgia Stones. On the Georgia Stones, there's written in several different languages the Ten Commandments of the New World Order. Now, you need to go and check this out. If you think I'm telling lies, you need to go and check this out, because this is important. They want four goals. They want a new money a money system in. They're going to crash the old one. You're going to get a silicon chip in your right hand. You're going to get a new law system, a new religious system. They want to kill off 93% of the world's population because what they're saying is 6.7 billion people on this planet. They cannot be. It cannot be sustained. There's not enough water. There's not enough food. There's not enough energy. You've got to go and check it out guys, do it now.